A wild thunderstorm appears. It uses its freezer tech. It's super effective. I'm wearing a gown and my pajamas. That's how cold it is at the moment. Um, it's it's really bad. For some reason, it's been uh, it's been raining all day. I suppose it's winter. Nero's very unimpressed. Hey boy, tell them how unimpressed you are. That's how unimpressed he is. He's very unimpressed. Um, he wants to go and run outside. He needs to get his daily laps in. Um, it's pretty dark in the house. That's the mattress from the back of the car. Um, we've got a, a bucky. It's called a bucky in South Africa. Uh, <laughs> bucky. No, uh, it's a pickup. Um, it's out there. Can you see it? You probably can't. Anyway, you know. It's, so it's got a it's got a big area in the back where Nero normally sits. That mattress is usually in there, and um, he uh, he needs it. Else he would be sitting on the middle. So I'm sitting in the chair here. I don't like sitting and vlogging, but whatever. He uh, so we took it out because it's raining like all day long already, and it gets it gets wet. And if the mattress gets wet, it's a soggy mattress. No one likes a soggy mattress. Not even Nero. And Nero likes very many mattresses. He's he's one of those dogs that likes mattresses. Okay. So um, I was going to say some stuff, but I feel that I've already missed that boat. <laughs> I have. I really, this is some bad lighting. I should turn around. Ugh. That's not much better. And it's not getting any. I'll just sit like this. Okay. Ha. Huh. So what's up? No, never mind. Okay. The, we've. Um, I I've steam recently. That's what I was going to talk about. Actually, what I keep thinking about. Stop hooting. Okay. I'm busy vlogging here. It's a car hooting outside. It's definitely not for me. No one ever comes here to visit us. No, I'm joking. We have visitors every now and then. They're usually family though. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, so uh, I was actually kept thinking, the thing I keep coming that keeps coming to mind is that these idiot hackers are hacking everything. I mean, I know a lot of people are sort of supporting them. What are they called? Lulz sec. L U L Z sec. Lulz. You know, lulz. Not lulz. Lulz. Lulz sec. And they hacked like Eve Online, um, the login servers there. They're apparently hacking the Gmail, lots of Gmail accounts, or they're getting lots of Gmail accounts hacked today. They hacked Sony again. They hacked like lots of big people. And I don't know if I'm following it religiously, but it's happening. And you can't really miss it because everyone's talking about it. And I find it frustrating. I mean, they could ruin lives like that. People, okay, I know a lot of people are like fans and they're saying there is a plus side to this. Okay, so... Because they're hacking these people, they're actually helping them improve their security and sort of prepare for the next time, which is good. But giving out personal information is not good. Okay, I'm, that's what I think. Anyway, it's unimportant. I just wanted to say that I have been hearing about that. Nero's on his way. He's on the move. Hey, my boy. Anyway, so what I was going to say before that is that Steam is now uh, featuring free games. They've got free games on Steam. Uh, a few of the entries now, recent entries, were Spiral Knights, which, uh, undecided, undecided about it. Um, it's a free puzzle MMO kind of, puzzle, action puzzle adventure MMO kind of thing. Um, it looks okay. I'm not going to say it's good. Then there's Champions Online, which is a solid MMO. It's, it went free to play a while ago, and you can, there's hair in my eyes. You can, you can get it on Steam now, so that's great. Then after that, there is Global Agenda. Someone actually told me to play Global Agenda. I haven't got it yet. I haven't tried it yet. But that's on Steam too. And I think that's great. I, I was At first, I was totally anti-Steam. But nowadays, I'm sort of growing to, to appreciate the ease of use. The fact that you can just click on a game to buy it, download it, and play it the second it releases. And that you can pre-download stuff. Because pre-downloading stuff, pre-loading games, is such a huge thing for us in South Africa. Because... You know, with our slow internet, if they had to start the downloading the second the game releases, we'd have it like two days later. So, I'm happy with that. Anyway, so free games on Steam. I'll give you a link below to the new ones. You can check it out. Enjoy. You're welcome. I, uh, yes, you're welcome. And, wow, did any of you see that cool um, 3DS advert? Oh, my goodness. It's like, it, it, it brought tears to my eyes. No, it didn't really, but it's, that's the kind of advert that it was. Um, Robin Williams... And his daughter, Zelda. Her name is Zelda. I mean, I knew that before. But it's just so brilliant that, that Nintendo think of using Robin Williams, who is, in my opinion, such... I mean, he's, he's, he's a gamer, okay? He's a gamer at heart. He's a true nerd in the... I don't know, I suppose. Um, 
And it's great that they used him for their little ad campaign. It's amazing. It worked so well. He narrates the advert. It's, it's an advert for Ocarina of Time, Zelda. And it's a TV spot for it, so it's pretty short. But it, it's, such a, it's, it's such a touching advert. So check it out. Um, I'll link it to you. I'm not going to put an annotation here because I'm lazy. Um, I'll link it down below. Check that out and tell me what you think about it. Like, like that, if there was ever a topic of the day, that's the topic of today. Screw the Steam games and the hackers and all that crap. We're talking about Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Robin Williams, his daughter, um, and how cool that advert is. I, I mean, I, come on, okay? Some people might not appreciate it, but I really do. I think it's amazing. I'm not going to spoil all of it for you, which I probably already have, but check it out. Okay. Otherwise, uh, I was going to just sort of give another little schedule update. I released this, the... Someone's opening a door. I, I got out the Warcraft news is out, the Diablo news is out, you know that already. Uh, some Terraria stuff, I, ca I killed the boss, I went to explore the corruption, that was great, uh, lots of fun. What's going, what's going on, boy? Okay, that's nice. You look like you've done something naughty, my boy. He looks like he's done something naughty. Should we trust, I'll trust him for now. I'm not going to go and explore, look outside when he's actually bitten or broken or dug. Anyway, okay, so... Uh, I was talking about, I totally forgot, oh, my schedule. So I got all that stuff out, some Beyond Good and Evil still had, has to go up. Not a, bit, not a lot of you are watching Beyond Good and Evil, but I still feel it's a series that's worth doing, because when it's done, and especially before Beyond Good and Evil 2 comes out, um, it's going to be something that people want to watch. So I'm going to continue with Beyond Good and Evil, and I'm enjoying the game a lot. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, hmm, okay. Uh, that's the most important thing, that, uh, you know, having fun. So, sadly, Portal 2 is finished. I have thought a lot about what game to do after that, because I want to do another game. I want to do another recent game. The vlog is getting too long now. Damn it. I can't, I can't keep it short. Okay, so, hmm. I want to do another recent game. I've sort of decided already. I want to keep it a surprise for you guys. And I know a lot of you might not like it, because... <laughs> It's the kind of game where you'll have mi mixed reactions no matter what. It's not Duke Nukem, don't worry. I don't want to do that. Sorry, I've heard too much bad stuff about that. Every single person on YouTube is pretty much playing it. I'm not interested, okay? I was interested in the first Duke Nukem. It was an amazing game, Duke Nukem 3D. Um, I loved it. I played it. I played it so, so much when I was younger, but I'm not interested in the new one. So I'm going to do another game, and I think I'm going to start it this weekend. Check back this weekend. It's just South Africa. It's been released already. But South Africa is so slow that it's taking me a bit of time to um, acquire it. I've ordered it, and it's going to happen. There are a few other games that I was going to do, but I can't talk about that yet either. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, so much mystery. Such a mysterious guy. Wow. Okay. Then, also, the One Minute Guide will definitely be done this weekend sometime. Uh, look out for that. As well as, I've got a really cool project that I'm going to start up for Terraria. Uh, I, I think you'll like it. I hope you'll like it. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be sort of a, a less, like, I don't want to say common, but I'm not going to be doing it every day. It's going to happen every week or two. Uh, you'll see what it is, and you'll enjoy it a lot. Uh, Nero's looking very alert here. Bat ears. Woo! Okay, that's what I wanted to say. I don't want to say anything else. Uh, I'm going to go and record something StarCrafty now. I might shoutcast some games. I haven't done that in like ages alone, that is. I haven't done that in ages. I could shoutcast some games and just practice a bit because like I haven't, I don't practice very much. I don't practice shoutcasting. It just comes every weekend. I do, every month I do the polar fluke thing and that's all the shoutcasting I get in. Anyway, I might do some Starcraft stuff now. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Once again, uh, I don't need to say much more than that. You know what my little tentative schedule is for the next few days. Oh, but now, actually, tonight and tomorrow is going to be StarCraft news. That's it. That GG's my entire Friday and Saturday because... Well, not Saturday. Friday and Saturday morning. Because it just takes so much time. The news is... Oh, it's bad. Bad. But it's good. I mean, I want to do it. Um, and I like knowing what's going on. But there's, the news just does take a lot of time. It, it owns, like, most of my week. Anyway. So, thanks for watching. Um... And that's it. There's Nero. Hey boy, give me a kissy. Oh, good boy. You give me a kissy, okay? So, all I can say is, happy Nero kisses. Mwah.